Uh, welcome back. Um, we just got done talking about multiplying integers, and so now what we're going to do is we're going to take a look at the inverse operation of multiplying integers, which is dividing integers. And uh, multiplication and division have the same idea of um, if we have um, an even number of signs in a problem, then it's going to be positive. If we have an odd number of signs in a problem, it's going to be uh, negative. So let's take a look at a few examples um, of each, and we can we can see that for ourselves. So let's take a look at this first one here. This says negative 15 uh, divided by 3. So this says we owe $15. Say you go out to dinner with your friends, and there's three of you total. And so you divide that up. So you each owe 15 divided by 3 is 5. So you'd each owe $5. Okay. So we look over here, and we see a negative times a positive equals a negative. All right, uh, negative 20 divided by negative 4. Um, this is saying we have a negative divided by a negative. And so we said um, in the, our multiplication video that um, it's going to come out to be positive. And then 20 divided by 4 is 5. <laughs> I did not intend for those to be the same. Uh, so this says that a negative time uh, divided by a negative is a positive. And some, some people wonder, like, why is that? Uh, well, we can write um, negative 20 as negative 1 times 20. And we can write uh, negative 4 as negative 1 times 4. We could even break that down more into its prime factorization. So breaking it down into its si most simple parts. So we could say negative 1 times 20 breaks down into uh, 4 times 5, which is 2 and 2, 2 times 2. So we have negative 1 times 2 times 2 times 5. And this is just a way um, when we simplify down fractions, this is the process that we go through, sometimes without even realizing it. Uh, then if we look at this 4, we have 2 times 2. So here we have negative 1 times 2 times 2. Now what, what our rule when simplifying fractions is, is that if we have a common um, factor on the top and a common factor on the bottom, then we can cancel them out. So this 2 divided by 2 is 1, this 2 divided by 2 is 1, and this negative 1 divided by negative 1 is 1. So really all we're left with is this positive 5. All right, our next example here is 21 divided by negative 7. So if we take 21 and we divide by 7, we get 3. And since we have a positive divided by a negative, we have an odd number of negatives in this problem, we have our solution of negative 3. So this says a positive divided by a negative is a negative. And then finally, the one that you're used to probably um, more than any of the others. This says 30 divided by 6. So divided by 6, which is 5. And so a positive divided by a positive is a positive. So hopefully this was a good, a good refresher for you on dividing integers. And if you still have questions, make sure you bring those to class. You can post them uh, in the comments section of this video. Uh, thanks for watching.